Good morning, Sarah Parish, and welcome to today's assembly. Now, I know this week the focus has been looking at black British people who have contributed to society and have really supported the community. Now, I know yesterday Jackie took you on a timeline through history and then also focused on black British musicians. Now, I have got here a selection of different black British people who have contributed to society. And we are gonna focus on one person here in particular. I wonder if the teachers can pause. I wonder, I wonder if you are able to have a think and see if you know any of the people that are on this picture. Your teachers will have some time to go through it with you at the end of this assembly. So, Today, we are going to be looking at Notting Hill Carnival. Now, I know children in year one have looked at Notting Hill Carnival, and you will probably know in particular who I'm going to be sharing about today. But the Notting Hill Carnival is Europe's biggest street festival, and it takes place every August bank holiday weekend. I wonder if anyone has been to Notting Hill Carnival. Why don't we take a moment, if you have been, to discuss what you have seen when you've been there. It's such a colourful carnival parade along the streets of West London. So see if you can have a moment to discuss what you have seen and what you already know about Notting Hill Carnival. Okay, I hope you have had a good discussion talking about Notting Hill Carnival. As I said, it's a wonderful celebration that happens over the bank holiday weekend full of lots of music, lots of great food, lots of people dressed up and celebrating the culture of the Caribbean. And some of the music that is played is called soca and dance So I'm gonna give you a little sample of what you might hear if you go to Notting Hill Carnival. Oh, we get to dancing. You want to move a little bit. Start waving your hands in the air. Okay, so that's a little sample of what you might hear at Notting Hill Carnival. But how did it all start and who was responsible? So we have a lady called Claudia Jones and she was born in Trinidad in 1915. Now I wonder what else was happening during 1915 at that time. Now Claudia was an extremely bright child, academically bright, and she really loved school. However, she was not well for a period of time, so she had to miss out on quite a bit of school, but she still did really well. And she moved to London in 1955. Now, at that time, a lot of people were not very nice to black people in the UK. They used to have signs in their shops that said no coloured, no Irish and no dogs. So at that time, there were certain people that weren't really allowed in shops. So for example, I wouldn't have been allowed in a shop because the term coloured referred to black people and um, Irish people. So unfortunately, Lisa wouldn't have been allowed in shops either. And then it says no dogs. Now, how do you think people were made to feel if they were compared to or likened to animals such as dogs? So that's something to think about what was happening not so long ago in the UK. Now, the British African Caribbean community, they didn't have access to facilities or equal rights. So they weren't given the same opportunities as white people in the UK. And Claudia knew that this was wrong and she spoke out about it and she campaigned against racism in housing, in education and employment. So as we think about the word racism, it's when you think or a group of people or an individual thinks that the colour of their skin means that they are superior to somebody else and that means that they act in ways that are unkind. They might say things with their words, they might um, result to violence and hurt people. In this case, 
people that were black were not given the same opportunities. So Claudia, she spoke at peace rallies in London and she really wanted to see changes for the people in her community. In 1958, above a barber shop in Brixton in South London, she founded and she came up with the idea for the West Indian Gazette. And it was a newspaper that was for black people. And the newspaper was Britain's very first black newspaper. Now, during the summer of 1958, there was lots of racist gangs that were attacking the black community. And there were violent riots that took place in Notting Hill. And these um, riots, they lasted for five days. As you can see from the pictures here, there's a lot of, of white people that didn't necessarily or didn't like black people in their community, didn't want them to have the same rights as them, didn't want them to um, be able to work in the same places as them, didn't want them to uh, be in relationships with other people that were white. So they were really unkind and they started riots and were attacking people. So you can see here, it's not very nice at all. Now, Claudia decided that she wanted to respond to those who caused the riots. And she believed that the black community, the African black community and West Indian community in the area has been through so much and they just really needed uplifting. And she really wanted them to have a space where they could celebrate their culture and their heritage because she felt that it was important. And even though people were attacking them, they, the black community still felt that they needed to celebrate. So the special showcase was originally called Claudia's Caribbean Carnival, and it took place at St Pancras Town Hall on the 30th of January in 1959. And it was actually televised and was shown on the BBC. Okay, so here are some pictures of the first carnival. There's a lot of dancing, a celebration of food. There was beauty pageants and um, music. And it just looks, as you can see from the pictures, a really, really good time. Again, really about the community coming together, singing, calypso, sharing, and just being happy together. It was about unity. And then after, <clears throat> sorry, after about five or six years, the carnival moved from inside to outside to Notting Hill, to the streets of Notting Hill. And this is the carnival that we know, love and enjoy today. As you can see, this is in the 60s. Lots of people gathered. Lots of music being played, the still pans. And it's not a very clear picture, but that's, this is a lot of people from different backgrounds. And as we know, lots of different people from different backgrounds representing the Caribbean, but also people not from the Caribbean who want to celebrate come to Notting Hill Carnival. There's lots of costume performers making their way through the carnival route. And you can always hear the sound of the still pans and the calypso music. Claudia Jones died in 1964. But in the Royal Borough of Kensington and Chelsea, there's a plaque that you'll see on a wall which celebrates her achievements. And it says, Claudia Jones, 1915 to 1964, mother of Caribbean Carnival in Britain, organized an annual carnival from January 1959 as a community response to the 1958 August bank holiday Notting Hill riots. And this is what she said. She says, our carnival symbolizes the unity of people who live here and of all our many friends who love the West Indies. So as we think about Claudia Jones and her contribution to British history and to Britain today, she is the original originator, the mother of the Caribbean carnival. And the reason why she felt the carnival was so important was because she wanted to bring the community back together and she wanted the black British African Caribbean community to be able to celebrate their culture and their heritage. So as we think about Claudia Jones, let's take some time to reflect. I'm going to say a prayer 
If you'd like to make my words your words, and at the end, I'd like you to say amen. But why don't we just still our bodies as we take a moment to reflect. You might want to bow your heads and put your hands together. Dear God, we thank you for the life of Claudia Jones. We thank you that instead of using anger, she responded in love to the Notting Hill riots. We thank you for what she has contributed to black British history. And we ask that we use her to reflect and think about what we can also do to contribute to our community especially at Soho Parish. Help us to always act with love. Amen.